Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am here with my week 17 picks. That's right, we're up to week 17, which, if this was last year, would be the last week of the season. But it isn't, because the NFL extended the season by one game going forward. So... This is not going to be the last game of the year coming up, and uh, we have to recap what I did last week in week 16. Now, if you recall, week 16 for the sportsman was really an 18-game week because the NFL had moved two games from week 15 to week 16 the way that I was counting it because the two games were played on Tuesday night which is after Monday night football and for me the week ends with Monday night football so this was an 18 game week um, that we did and I did quite well I was 12 and 6 in week 16 and that makes me 147 and 93 on the season quite a record 61.3 of my games percent of my games right so i'm doing pretty well i had a rough patch a few weeks ago where there was like two or three weeks where pretty much everyone i thought would win actually lost not everyone but enough that it really put me in a bad situation but now I have recovered, and with that in mind, we're going to get into the picks. Now, there is no Thursday night game this week. All of the games will be played on Sunday except for one, and that will be a Monday night game. So the first one we have is the Bears at home against the G-Men. And if you remember last week... I picked the Giants to win on the road in Seattle in the snow, and they did. Now, I didn't know it was going to snow, but I did know that the Bears were going to win that game. And I know that the Bears are going to win this one, too. We're going to go with the Bears in this one, particularly because they're at home and the Giants are terrible, especially if they keep playing Fromm at quarterback. I thought Fromm was... Some kind of secret weapon that they were, you know, stacking away for some reason. And now I know what the reason is, is that he's a secret weapon against the Giants. So, um, yeah. And if he plays again, especially, and the Bears played Foles last week, and Foles was awesome. Now, if they play Foles again, let's see. You know, who knows. The next game you got is... The Dolphins are playing the Titans, and the Titans are the home team. And you know who I'm going to pick in this one? I'm going to take the Dolphins. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking the Dolphins in this one because the Titans are terrible. They're a mess. I think they lost last week to somebody they should have beaten. I don't know. But anyway, they're terrible. So once they lost, um, you know, their running back there, um, Derrick Henry. It was all downhill, pretty much. Not to mention, I'm not very impressed with Vrabel as a coach. The next game we have, the Bills are going to host the Falcons. Yeah, right. I mean, I, yeah, I think you really need to say that you're going to take... <laughs> yeah. You're going to take the, uh, the Bills in this one. And uh, I don't even know where that one went. So let's hope I can... Uh, Oh, there it goes. All right. I found it. So, the next one we have, the Patriots are at home against the Jags. Yeah, right. I mean, come on. Let's not even, you know, let's not even toy with you here. I'm going to take the Patriots. The Jags have the first pick in the draft next year uh, locked up, just like they locked up last year's first number one pick, and uh, they seem happy to do so. Um... You got the Colts at home 
against Las Vegas. Las Vegas had an impressive win last week, even though I thought they would lose to the Broncos. They didn't. But I'm still going to go with the Colts. The Colts are on some kind of winning streak from Hades. I don't know. I mean, they. I think they signed a, a pact with the devil. So they're just winning games left and right. And I ain't picking against them. Uh, the next one you have... The Buccaneers are playing the Jets. And the Jets are at home. But uh, no. no. We're not going to take the Jets in this one. We're going to go with the Buccaneers. Yeah. I mean, the Buccaneers have had their share of bad games. Where they've looked bad against lesser teams, but I don't think that's going to be what's going to happen this week. Next one you got, the Eagles are playing the Washington football team, and the Washington football team got their asses handed to them by Dallas, and um, the Eagles did some ass handing last week, so I'm going to go with the Eagles in that one, take the Eagles to win that game. Next one you got, Bengals hosting the Chiefs. The Bengals look quite impressive against a depleted Baltimore team last week. And the uh, Chiefs look like the Chiefs of old. And that's what I'm betting on here. I'm going to say that the Chiefs of old are going to be back and they're going to beat the Bengals. Although the Bengals are quite good. And uh, I think the Bengals are going to make the playoffs. But... Don't bet against the Chiefs in that game. Next one you got is the Chargers are at home against the Broncos. The Broncos really are a one-sided team. They have defense. They have no offense. So even though the Chargers have looked uh, abysmal at times against teams that they should have beaten, like last week's opponent, and uh, who was last week's opponent? Texans, maybe? I don't know. But it was somebody they clearly should have beaten and they didn't. But I'm still going to take the Chargers. Next one we have the 49ers are at home against the said Texans. Garoppolo is not expected. I don't expect Garoppolo to play in this game. It's going to be that guy that they drafted. I forget his name. But anyway, we're still going to go with the 49ers. Why? Because we're talking about the Texans. So, yeah, let's go with the 49ers in that game. The next one we have is the Cowboys are at home against the Cardinals. One team is going down and one team is going up, and the team that's going up is going to be the one that wins. I'm going to say that the Cowboys beat the uh, Cardinals, particularly since they will be home in that one. So, yeah, let's go with the Cowboys. The next one we have is the Dying Seahawks against the Lions, who always play with some spunk, even though they're not very good. They definitely are not. But I'm still going to go with the Lions. Yeah, that's a crazy one right there. Maybe you want to call that the upset special, although the Seahawks have looked crappy in the last few weeks. But I'm still going to go with the Lions in that one. Next one you got, the Ravens are hosting the Rams. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with the Rams in this. The Ravens are just a mess. They've got all kinds of people on COVID. They've got people injured. You've got Harbaugh going for fourth and ones in the middle of the field. Fourth and, you know, uh, two-point conversions when there's no reason to go for a two-point conversion. So, yeah. We're going to go with the uh, Rams in that one. Packers are at home. We got a nice division rivalry here. The Packers at home against the Vikings. Yeah, let's go with the Pack because I am not picking against Rodgers and the Packers. Rodgers in a broken toe. Rodgers with COVID in a broken toe. I don't care. He's still going to beat the Vikings. And then finally, you got the Monday, January 3rd game, and that's the Steelers at home against the Browns. And in this one, 
Well, it's really, this one's a hard one to call, but I'm still going to go with the Steelers. I'm going with the Steel Curtain in this one. The Steelers to beat the Browns. So those are my picks. Those are all the games that I have for this week. What did you guys think? Did you like my picks? You can leave a note below. You can leave a link. Give me a like. Do all the good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you're watching this and you don't subscribe. Hey, subscribe because I do the picks every year. And they're a big hit. But right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.